So whatever the union workers get with these, uh, you, you put that on top of the legacy cost mm -hmm. for the big three, their cars are going to cost a lot more than Tesla. So ultimately, Elon Musk is a winner. His employees make a lot less, though, than these yeah, union they're workers. they're not union. Yeah, the Washington Post is reporting this morning that the starting pay ranges between $18 an hour and $32 an hour, and the union says they right. want that to be, the range to be $10 higher per hour. I mean, I look at what you do. You walk in and you just say, you want to quit? <laughs> they go yeah. on strike. They, I won't mention the name of the company, but they go on strike and you say, that's okay, you're all gone. You're all gone. So every one of you is gone. And you are the greatest. You would be very good. Oh, you would love it. It will not even be Trump that needs to clean up the fact that him and a billionaire, Elon Musk, were sitting around laughing at American workers for striking for better pay because Elon Musk's company was overworking people and underpaying them. I think it's generally not good to have an adversarial relationship uh, between um, people on the line, you know, one group at the company and another group. In fact, I mean, I, I, I disagree with the idea of unions, but perhaps for a reason that is different than people may expect, is, which is I, I just don't like anything which creates kind of a lords and peasants sort of thing. And, and I think the unions naturally try to create negativity in a company. Trump is praising billionaires for exploiting American workers. And it won't even be Donald Trump that needs to clean this up. His cronies, his followers, and other elected Republicans will say, oh, well, they were saying the unions are greedy. No, that's not what he said. He was bragging about firing workers. Look, and this thing of, of playing dumb while he sits on the planes with these billionaires and says, he does, I don't know anything about Project 2025. I just fly on the planes with them. You know what it's going to do? One of the goals of that plain and simple, and they know this, this has been going on forever. Get rid of labor unions and get rid of the voices that we bring. They can do whatever the hell they want that. This is who you all chose to put the top of the ticket. Beyond the rambling that took place in, in this space, beyond that, what we witnessed was an idiot who does not care about working Americans. Yet and still, you all continue to pretend that Donald Trump is the savior for America's economy, when in actuality, this is a person who has created nothing. And everything he tried to create was trash. Let me tell you something. Donald Trump doesn't know about the auto industry. And he doesn't give a damn about the working class in this country. You have a, a construction helmet on right there? Yeah, I wear construction, yep. Yeah. Um, does it bother you that, that Trump famously didn't pay a lot of his construction uh, employees? Who? Uh, in Atlantic City, a lot of the people who worked on his casinos, people says, lost their, says, their livelihood. Says, says who? The, the, just the just people. Known, it's just known people? It is a known thing, okay. yeah. Yeah. I'm sure they deserve it. He failed at universities. Created it. Failed. He failed at stakes, created them, failed. He failed at the plane, created it, failed. He created a fake football team, didn't work, failed. Every business is Trump name associated with it, then it's a failure. It's a failure. But you all praise this rich man because in your heart of hearts, he hates who you hate. Anybody that's not like you all, he says illegal immigrant, even though white people stole this country from people that look like the people in Southern borders. White people created policies, immigration policies to keep America white as it is right now. Exclusionary immigration policies. And you guys are okay with that. Donald Trump calls NFL players mothers bitches. Sons of bitches is what he said. And you all support that. It's not that you support the American flag because we see how ready you are to tear down the institutions of this country, i.e. January 6th, i.e. you want to defund the FBI when your feelings are hurt. What you're not ready to do is be honest and say that your patriotism is conditional. Your patriotism is conditional. It only works if you get your way.
and the moment whiteness is not prioritized, then you don't like America. Well, I'm sorry to break this to you. That's not American. That is why the Civil War was fought and your people lost. Amanda Robinson, don't be a Confederate.